Hey everyone, this is Project SPC. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I'm back with my latest project, the GPD WinMax dock and eGPU case. So in this video, we'll go over the GPD WinMax briefly, the 3D printed dock, the eGPU case, and we'll also go over the features of the adapter board. For those of you who don't know what the GPD WinMax is, it's a handheld gaming console with a keyboard, X input controller, eight inch touchscreen, with an Intel Core i5, 1035G7, 4 core, 8 thread, turbo up to 3.7 gigahertz. It's got the Intel Iris Plus graphics, which is some of the best integrated graphics you can get from Intel at this moment. 16 gigabytes of LP DDR4 3733 RAM. But what previous generations of this product didn't have was the ability to connect it to an eGPU, and that's where this Thunderbolt 3 port comes in. Once I saw this, I knew I wanted to make a budget eGPU case dock build for this device. And that's where this ADT Link R43SG TB3 adapter comes in. It takes your graphics card and it puts it out to a Thunderbolt 3 port. And here's the result. Let me start off by saying these are both a work in progress. I've got second revisions coming on both the case and the dock to address some concerns that were already brought to my attention. So there's two parts. There's the GPD WinMax dock and the eGPU case. Let's take a look at the dock first. This dock provides a convenient location for you to put your GPD when Max when you want to use it as a desktop. The design intent was you'd be able to slide it up into the dock into these two USB-C cables located here. The cables have a backstop feature to prevent them from backing up into the dock. And this Thunderbolt 3 cable runs off to your eGPU. This other USB-C cable here runs around to the back to a USB-C hub located internal to the dock so you can attach your peripherals. And M3 mounting hardware secure the back to the base. Here is the eGPU case. Now this took about 50 hours to print in total between the two parts. I have a sliding mechanism built into this one but I will be revising it because it is not reliable. I will be switching over to mounting hardware. I have through holes located to mount the feet provided with the adapter board. On the back we have a window to attach all of your video cables to your GPU. And I have a slot located here so you can run power cables in and the Thunderbolt 3 cable out. And on the back side here we have a little slot to mount the Thunderbolt 3 to M.2 adapter box. And lastly let's go over the adapter board. So we get the adapter board itself some feet which mount to it, which I've displaced onto the case as you can see here, a black cable that's the M.2 M key connector running into this black box, which converts it to a Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is included, the mounting hardware for the GPU to secure it to the adapter board, and we also get this 8-pin PCIe connector, which converts over to two 6 or 8-pin connectors. As for connectors on this, you get a 24 pin ATX connector, so you could hook up a ATX power supply, or if you want something that's a little bit more compact, you could use a Pico PSU or an HD Plex 400 watt for beefier graphics cards. There's also a 4 pin CPU connector here to provide additional power to the board, an 8 pin Dell EPS connector, which I'll go over in just a second, and the 8 pin PCIe connector to provide the additional power for cards that require more than just the bus power. For 20 US dollars, you can pick up this 220 watt Dell power supply with an 8 pin EPS connector on the back, which plugs into the board right here. So if your graphics cards take less than 200 watts, this might be a great solution for you if you want to keep your case compact and you don't mind a power brick. So in total, this build costs about 180 US dollars, 130 for the adapter board, 20 for the USB C hub, 20 for the Dell power brick. And if you print it yourself, about $10 in filament between the dock and the case. So what's next? Well, I have to make revisions to both parts, the dock and the case. For the dock, I'm going to open up the back to provide better airflow for the GPD WinMax. It was also brought to my attention that the GPD WinMax could get scratched in the back when you go to slide it up on these connectors. So I'm going to add a removable USB-C connector holder that meets the GPD WinMax and then comes back and connects back to the dock. I'm also entertaining the universal USB-C mount here on the back so that you can bring your own USB-C dock as long as it meets a certain footprint size. As for the GPU case, it was brought to my attention that you should remove the top air vents 
And I'm also going to redesign it so that everything is hardware mounted instead of a sliding rail. So once I get the design tweaked, I will print new prototypes. And when I receive my GPD Win Max, which I am in the first 100 backers, so I should be one of the first people to receive a production unit, I will validate my design. And as always, I will release the files for anyone to print. If you have any feedback on this design, please leave that in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Maybe subscribe. Come check out my Twitter feed or Discord channel for new updates. And as always, thanks for watching.